Hey, I hope each and every one of you had a wonderful, wonderful Easter. We're back today to share with you a verse from the Word of God, and I think this verse will hold a lot of meaning to you. I think sometimes if you're looking for a verse to get you through the day, sometimes um, if you tune in here, we might just have that verse for you, either in a video or maybe if you look on our community page, we post a scripture. We'll try to be posting something that will try to give you just a little bit of the Word of God, a little bit of the bread of life. Now, today, I want to talk to you for just a couple of minutes about a verse out of the book of 1 Corinthians. And this verse goes very well with Easter that we've just come through. Now, of course, we all know on Easter Sunday or Resurrection Sunday, whatever you want to call it, we celebrate the resurrection of of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We celebrate that Jesus Christ was not kept in the tomb. He was not confined in the tomb, but that he conquered death, hell, and the grave. Of course, we know also, as we lead up to the resurrection, about all the terrible pain and suffering that Jesus suffered on that cross, the whipping, the beating, um, the bruised, the whole, the whole thing that Jesus went through, something that we cannot even imagine. And then the Bible said that he gave up the ghost and he died. And they laid him in the tomb and rolled the stone in front of the, the entrance to that tomb. But see, Jesus had told the disciples uh, some time before that, he said, if you tear this temple down in three days, I'll raise it up again. And the Bible even went on to explain that by the word temple, he was talking about his body. So he was saying, you lay this body down and in three days, I'll raise it up again. Then, of course, we know the story. And this is a lot of times what we talk about on Easter. We talk about the earth beginning to shake and the earth beginning to quake. And, and then we talk about Jesus in the tomb and, and, and them going. And the stone was rolled away. And when they looked in, they seen no body. No body, B-O-D-Y. And the angel said, why are you seeking the living among the dead? For he is risen. Go and tell it. Tell him he's alive. So we hear about all these wonderful scriptures, and they are truly wonderful. But there's a verse that I want to give you today in the book of 1 Corinthians. Now, you're going to be seeing it pop up on the screen here. But this verse is very powerful, too. And it really says the whole summation of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You see, there's a lot of beliefs in the world over the years, and I'm talking about hundreds of years, there's been gods that people have made out. You can read about gods in the Word of God, other gods. You know, you can read about where, where uh, they went up and there was a, the hillside with all of these statues to certain gods. You can read in the book of Exodus where they had a, a sun god and the moon god and, and all of them type gods. But they weren't real. Our God is a real God. He manifested himself in a real body, Jesus Christ. And that body of flesh hung on a cross for us that he would take all the sins of the world and he would nail them to that cross, that whosoever would believe upon him and the price that he paid could be saved. But see, there was one more part to that. He's a risen Savior. He would have to be. The Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians, and you're going to see that verse pop up. He said, if Christ be not risen, then your faith is in vain. Now, the word vain means useless, meaningless, 
of no effect. So Paul said, if Christ had not arose from the grave, all of our faith, all of our meetings that we meet together, all of our prayers that we pray, all of our worship that we do, all of that would be meaningless. It would be of no effect if Christ was not risen. Then there was another part to that he said as well. He said, and you would still be in your sins. So you see, that's another thing today we've got to be thankful for. Yes, I realize Easter was yesterday, but I can also realize that today, yesterday when I'm filming this, but today, tomorrow, next week, the next month, we can give God praise every day that we are serving a living God and a living Savior. Because just like Jesus told them, after three days, the Spirit of life went back in the body of Jesus Christ and he got up victorious. So that verse, it said, if Christ be not risen, he is risen. It said we would still be in our sins, but we're not in our sins. Why? Because Jesus Christ is alive and well today. Is he your savior today? Have you put your faith in him and what he did at the cross of Calvary? Have you come before him and said, Lord, I want to make you Lord of my life. I'm sorry for anything I've done in my past that wasn't pleasing to you. But Lord, I want you to be my Lord. And I want a fresh start. You do that and Jesus Christ will come into your life today. And then everything that goes on around you, the world might shake and the world might quake. But you're going to be on a solid rock. And his name is Jesus Christ. We've got another video coming up just a little bit later in the week. And it's going to be a little different type video. Is I'm going to talk to you about a few facts that you might not know about the movie, The Ten Commandments. And I believe God anointed that movie many, many years ago. And I'm talking about the 1950s version, Cecil B. DeMille. There's a few interesting facts about that that I think you will find very interesting. So please make sure you hit the bell if you're new, or subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell, that way you'll know as soon as that video is uploaded. Remember, God loves you, God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next video.